Um, well, it was quite a strong pace, hard pace. We started at half past six, long days. We were Sometimes we were filming three episodes, sometimes two episodes a day. Um, and then, of course, you're dealing with people who you don't know. Uh, you don't know what they know or their kind of how they're presenting themselves. Of course, this is all about constructive criticism. It's about developing people, whatever their scale of, of in, in involvement or I suppose skill of craft and making it. So I, for me, it's just getting that happy balance. I always enjoy a new challenge and this was a major challenge for me. So I was talking to people who I didn't know. I was uh, criticising work that these people had made and I was working with a bunch of really interesting, talented production crew and I didn't know how that worked. So it was very interesting to kind of have all those things put into the, into the mix really. There were many memorable moments, lots of joking going on, lots of banter actually between the celebrities, really well, well paid up, even those people who didn't know each other. Some of them came to the shows knowing each other and there was already a lot of banter, those didn't. Uh, still played, played along and, and actually really enjoyed themselves. I think these kind of things are hugely important. I think there is a, there is a different schools of thought here, whether or not to the kind of high-end making and the craft, do it in your sitting room, doing it in your home, home type thing. There's a mixture of views about how we, we deal with this. My attitude is we've got to start somewhere. Often, people don't have that opportunity in schools because of, for whatever reason, they don't make things anymore. They, it's, it's too dangerous. Very places don't have kilns anymore. And if we can see, if we can see their favourite celebrities having a go at the mixture of things that they can do in their own living room or in their kitchen table, it can only be a good thing. I think the most important thing to advice, a bit of advice to give to students is to find your passion. Find the bit that you're really interested in. The course that I run and I'm a part of in 3D is that we have that opportunity. Students have the opportunity to come in and try a little bit. It may be that you've got an idea and you have to change material and that's fine. And you don't have to be specialist in every single material. You do need to work on developing that specialism and understanding the materials. And you do need to understand what you're interested in. So many people are in, in jobs and working in things that they are not passionate about and they're not living their best lives. So that's for me, is the first thing I'll say, what is your passion? If you don't know, start discovering it.